Welcome back to Say It In Three. In just three minutes or less, we'll dive deep into captivating stories that span across people's lives, unsolved mysteries, true crime, and so much more. Whether you're a curious mind, a history buff, or a mystery enthusiast, we've got something for you. Each episode is a journey through time, unraveling the unknown and spotlighting the extraordinary, all in just three minutes. Hit that subscribe button, like the video, and ring the bell to never miss a story. Dive into the fascinating world of Say It In Three. In the late 1960s, California, a series of gruesome murders gripped the nation, leaving an indelible mark on American history. It all began with a magnetic, enigmatic figure who possessed an uncanny ability to draw people into his twisted world. This individual, with a background of crime and a failed music career, managed to gather a group of devoted followers, many of whom were young. The story starts with the followers living in a commune, isolated from society, at a place known as the Spahn Ranch. This remote, dilapidated ranch became the breeding ground for the leader's apocalyptic visions and radical ideologies. He preached about an impending race war, which he termed Helter Skelter, inspired by the Beatles song of the same name. He convinced his followers that they needed to initiate this war through a series of brutal murders. One fateful night in August 1969, the leader instructed his followers to execute a horrifying plan. They descended upon a luxurious home in Los Angeles, owned by actress Sharon Tate and her husband, director Roman Polanski. That night, five people, including Tate, who was eight months pregnant, were savagely murdered. The following night, the killing spree continued with the murders of Leno and Rosemary LaBianca. The scenes were gruesome, with messages written in the victim's blood, designed to incite fear and chaos. The nation was in shock, as the brutality and randomness of the murders were revealed. The investigation was complex, but eventually, the trail led to the remote commune at Spawn Ranch. There, the authorities uncovered the dark, twisted world of the commune's leader and his family. The leader was eventually arrested, and put on trial, where his hypnotic control over his followers, and his chilling ideologies, were laid bare for the world to see. The mastermind behind the macabre killings, the man who orchestrated one of the most infamous murder sprees in American history was none other than Charles Manson. The courtroom was a spectacle, with his followers showing unwavering loyalty, even attempting to intimidate the jurors and disrupt the proceedings. In 1971, the leader and four other members of the Manson family were sentenced to death for their roles in the Tate-LaBianca murders. However, in 1972, California's Supreme Court ruled that the death penalty was unconstitutional and commuted their sentences to life in prison with parole. Since then, the remaining living defendants have regularly attended parole hearings, but their requests have been repeatedly denied. As of November 2017, when Manson died at the age of 83, he was serving nine life sentences in California's Corcoran State Prison. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, share it with your friends and family, as well as comment your thoughts below. Thank you.